Here's a Beyond the Pitch podcast quick hit from the WVSA Digital Network. The most common ankle sprain that we'll see is, is what's called a lateral ankle sprain, and that's when the ankle actually rolls inwards. Uh, their foot may be pointed, and they get that inward type uh, mechanism of the ankle. And usually we see those 70, 80, 80% of the time. And with that, they could have some swelling, uh, point tenderness, debilitating range of motion, uh, and that may keep them out from weeks or months, depending on the severity of the injury. So we grade those in three different categories, first degree, second degree, third degree sprains. If you're getting a second degree sprain, you probably need to get that checked out by a physician because you need to make sure uh, you get an x-ray to make sure nothing's fractured in that area because you can get fractures with a lateral ankle sprain. Uh, Typical treatment, what we like to do is compression elevation. Uh, I still like to use ice, uh, although some practitioners will say, you know, ice can can actually make it worse. I I don't believe in that. I, I continue to wear or use ice until... Uh, ice stops working. Um, they may need to be non-weight bearing. They may have to go on crutches. So it just depends on the severity. The other ankle sprain you can get is what they call a high ankle sprain. And the typical mechanism with that is what we call an eversion. So they're actually rolling their ankle uh, inwards. Um, and they could get point tenderness that's a little bit higher than a lateral ankle sprain. The point tenderness may be on the inside of the ankle as well. Uh, With a high ankle sprain, you definitely want to get an x-ray just to make sure there's no fracture. And those are a lot more debilitating than a lateral ankle sprain because if you think about what an athlete does uh, when they run, they're constantly moving their foot up and down. So anytime that, that toe or that ankle and foot go in that upward motion, you're actually opening up uh, that ankle joint space, which is uh, causing stress on those ligaments of the higher ankle. Um, you may have seen on TV, uh, there, there's a tight rope technique that they're, they're doing on uh, uh, some of these football players. It was publicized a couple years ago because uh, the Alabama quarterback had a high ankle sprain, and, and what they did, they stuck a, a tight rope, a, just a, um, a kind of like a seat belt, Right. Uh, that went from one part of his ankle, from the outside part of his ankle to the inside to kind of compress that area so it doesn't open up uh, when the athlete runs and, and cuts. Uh, and they found that to be effective. Now, we don't do that in all cases, but in severe cases, uh, yeah, well, our physicians will use that type rope technique um, for that type of ankle sprain. doesn't mean there's necessarily a fracture, but the, all they're doing is trying to actually replace that ligament that got injured.